Hello, I am Shini. Welcome to the test driven development tutorial. In this example, in this video, I am going to demonstrate you uh, how test driven development works uh, in Java. Uh, as an example, I would take a program to convert Roman numerals into Arabic. So let's start. I'll create a new project called TT Tutorial One. I create a new test class, general test case. So um, I uh, name this as um, test room one two Arabic. Yes. Um, okay. Now I've created a new test class, test method now, which is um, which is I comments to one. Create an object called one. Uh, you see. Uh, uh, in the Eclipse, you have um, Eclipse for a lot of context help. In this case, um, I created an object called Roman for the class Roman, where the class implementation has not been done. So, if I say Control One, uh, it can create a class automatically. So, it creates the class for you. Okay, done. Now, if I say this, create constructor Roman. Also done. Delete. <clears throat> now I take um, a Roman object and create a method called uh, to Arabic and let it have a written an integer called Arabic. So when I press Control One again, it says create method in the class. Which I will do. So now I use this as a method as that equals one, which is one epic. Okay, now I run this program. Obviously, it fails because this doesn't have the code uh, to make this run successfully. Okay, now I will change that to make it run. I will run it again. It works fine. So I'll refactor. Um, I'll rename that to one. And I'll say, yeah, I'll say this to a local parameter, local variable. Since I've, re uh, since I've refactored it, I would want to run it. So it still works fine. Okay. Uh, now if I can either proceed to the next test or I can even refactor the test itself. So in this case, I would want to refactor the test. I would want to inline this variable. For inline, you can also use a shortcut called Shift Alt I. It's inlined it. So I run it. It works fine. So I proceed with the next test. In test driven development, it's always uh, good to write first with the failing test and write a code to make the test pass and refactor. While refactoring, the design emerges. Okay, the design decisions are taken during the refactoring. Now I run this. It obviously fails because it doesn't have a code. So I'll say now if common dot value of or Roman dot equals mm, okay mm, equals V 
then it should return me five. I run it, it works fine. So fine, as so far so good. So I proceed with the next test. So I add another test case for 10 and run it, it fails. I copy paste to handle that condition. Okay, it works fine. Now I want to refactor this code. I want to refactor this code, so I want to make it simple. So I created, you know, um, okay, and call digit, and uh, that enum should make my life easy. Okay, control space bar would give you the help. So in this case, it is telling me to create a default constructor, which I would do. Passing as you see an integer variable, so I create this okay. Now I want to use this in um, I just say digit dot value of Roman dot Arabic home now this become this piece of code becomes obsolete so I delete this I go back to the original test case the test method it all works fine absolutely fine okay so this is the first tutorial to learn how to do test event development in Java using JUnit so thanks a lot.